Hey guys, welcome back. Let's take a look at uh, simplification of radical expressions. Blah, that's a mouthful. But let's look at some oldies first. Look at this one on the left. We're just going to do some review. You should be familiar with these. Remember how to do the square root of 75. You bust this up into pieces. And if, again, if you ever get stuck on these, you just make a factor tree. If you make a factor tree, you're going to end up with these as your prime factors. You'll go 3 times 5 times 5, like that. Of course, if you see 2 of any 1, you can pull that outside of here and make it one time. So your answer to this will be five square root of three. Now, the other thing we need to review is this. Remember how to do these from last time, and you just treat those just like, you know, like terms, x's or y's or whatever. You got three of something, you got negative five of something, that's negative two of something, plus eight of something gives you six of that something, and there you go. And you probably guess that what we're going to do today is we're going to combine both of these types of uh, exercises into one kind of problem. And this is what we're going to do. Let's look at something like this. Okay, now if you look at this as it is, and of course you can copy this down, pause it if you need to. You might look at this and go, boy, you know, this, nothing's the same, so I guess that just stays the way it is. But you need to break these down because you can break down all of those numbers into prime uh, factors. 8, let's look at that first. You probably recognize that as being 4 times 2. There's a good square you can pull out of there. We'll do that in a second. Minus 50, you probably recognize 5, 5 times 10 doesn't help, but 25 times 2, that does help. I can get that there. 98, you might have to go over here and go, ah, oh, 98, I don't know. 98, okay, I know it's divisible by 2, it's an 8. Boom, long division, boom, boom, you know, 2 into 98, I, oh, there's 49. Wait a minute, I'll just leave it. I know, because 49 is, that's a perfect square. So if you look at this now, this looks nice and neat, right? Because you can take this and go square root of 4 on the outside, 2, square root of 2. Square root of 25, that's going to be 5 square root of 2, plus square root of 49 is 7 square root of 2. Now if you look at this, you go, oh, well those are all square root of 2, so they're like terms, so I can shove them all together. So 2 minus 5, negative 3. Negative 3 plus 7, 4. There's my final answer right there. That's how you simplify radical expressions like what we're going to do today. Okay, all right, let's do one like this. You can copy this down. Square root of 18 plus the square root of 8. Well, you probably recognize right away that this is going to be, aha, uh -huh, 9 times 2. And that's my square I can mess with. Okay, again, this one, 8, will be 4 times 2. All right, and this goes out. The square root of that is 3, so 3 times the square root of 2 plus 2 square root of 2, which gives you 5 square root of 2. There you go. All right, let's go 2. Same thing. Take a second, copy down. All right, well, you can look, Just let's just copy this down again. We've got an 8 on the outside. You probably recognize this is going to be 9 times 3. You go, aha, that's a perfect square. And I've got a 3 here. And again, you probably recognize this as 25 times 3. And there we go. Now we can piddle with these things, okay? Well, 9, the square root of that comes out. That's going to be times 3, right? Because 3 is the square root of 9. So we'll have 8 times 3, or 24, times the square root of 3. Done. This one, square root of 25, yunk comes out there. That's going to be times 5. 3 times 5 is 15, square root of 3. There we go. Now look at these. They're like terms, right? Both square root of 3. So 24 plus 15, 39, square root of 3, and done. There we go. All right. Pause it. Copy this one down. All right. Look at this. We recognize 27 again is 9 times 3. And we'll, we got that, that's what we're going to pull out. Minus a 3, and then 18. You know, again, don't do 6 times 3. That doesn't help you. Do 9 times 2. There you go. No, that's, a, that's our square. Minus 6, and then 45, you know your times tables, that's going to be 9 times 5. There we go. Well, there's another one. you got 9s in all three of them. So, this goes out, that becomes 3, square root of 3. This goes out, that gets times by 3 right here. So, that's going to be 9, square root of 2. And this 9, the square root of that is 3, of course. 6 times 3 is 18, square root of 5. Now, look. Now we have this ugly lump of three terms. And if you look at this, none of these, I mean, there is no like term. That's the square root of three, two, and a five. You can't shove those together. 
Don't try to do three and two and make a five. It doesn't work that way. So you just leave this like it is with three terms. There's nothing you can do about that. Okay, all right. The second part of this is square roots of large numbers. Let's go back and uh, if you want to write a little list for yourself, you don't have to, but just, just simplify these. You probably look at this and go, wait a minute, I think I've got this. Square root of 100, that's 10, I know that. Square root of 50, <clears throat> I have to bust this up into pieces. So I go, hmm, 25 times two, and then that's gonna be, let's see, that's a, this is a five, five times the square root of two, and there you go. 32, you probably look at this and go, I mean, you might even get to the point where you have to do factor tree. If you do, <clears throat> this is what you're gonna, and first off, you might just recognize, oh, this is two times 16. Oh wait, the 16, the square root of 16 <coughs> is four, and the answer will be four square root of two. You might not, you might get the factor tree going here, then you go, uh, you know, I don't know. <clears throat> you might have said eight times four, and then gone two times two, and then gone eight of the, oh, that's two times four again, and then two times two, and there we go, I got five twos. So you line up your five twos, one, two, three, four, five, and you go, oh, there's a pair, that's gonna be two outside. Oop, there's a pair, two more outside. Two times two, four, the only thing left underneath there is a square root of two, which is exactly the same thing as you did just right there. So don't worry if you have to use a factor here, but once in a while, not that big of a deal. Okay, all right, so now we're gonna do something kind of interesting. Now write these down and look at the pattern that develops here, okay? Look at the pattern. Well, we know the first one, right? The answer to that is 10, okay? This one also has an answer. Something times something gives you 10,000. And the answer to that is 100. 100 times 100 gives you 10,000. And this last one is a million. And you might know, oh yeah, that's, that's 1,000 times 1,000. Now you tell me, look at the positive if you want to. Tell me the pattern. The square root of 110, 10,000, 100, a uh, million, 1,000. What's the pattern with the zeros here? Okay, I'm assuming you paused it and looked at it for a second, but you know, the square root of this with the two zeros gives you one zero. The square root of four zeros gives you two zeros. The square root of six zeros gives you three zeros. In other words, if you have an even number of zeros in some number under a square root, you can divide it basically in two with these zeros. So we're gonna use that fact in just a second here. So go ahead and pause it a second and write this down. We're gonna find the square root of 50,000, 50,000. All right, well, there is no number that times itself gives you 50,000. You're gonna to have to break this up into pieces just like you did. Can you imagine doing this? Imagine doing that, same thing, same thing. Okay, so it's 50,000 this time, all right? One thing you should notice is this. We have four zeros in this. Now if you know, like the last slide, we had four zeros in this. Well, we went, wait a minute, that'll have two zeros as an answer. That's what you're gonna to try to do. You're gonna break up these numbers into some number and then another number like 100 or 10,000 or a million that has a perfect square, okay? So what we need to do is we need to break this up into two pieces, all right? Since that has four zeros, we wanna keep that together, okay? So we're gonna say this is broken up into the square root of five times, you tell me, five times what gives you 50,000? 10,000, okay? And there we go, okay? Now we know the answer to this, right? The square root of 10,000 is 100, right? 100. We just take, as long as we have an even number of zeros, we can take half that number of zeros, two, and put it on the outside. And we're done, that's it. That's all we need to do. The answer to this is 100 times the square root of five. Your job is to kind of ignore that five for a second and focus on how many zeros you've got and make it create a like a multiplication problem where you have that number times some number that has an even number of zeros. Find the square root of that, then piddle with what's left inside. Might have to do some extra piddling on this one, but anyway. All right, you tell me what, what, uh, how we're going to break this up. You can pause it, of course. Okay, well, th this is the case where you go, Ugh. I mean, this one has five zeros. I mean, I can't divide it into two. Well, that's fine. Totally no problem. What you'll do is you're gonna take this and cut that part out as a factor and multiply by 50. Well, 
If you break it up like that, you're going to have the 50 right here, which is this part. Then you're going to have the 50 times, you tell me, 50 times what gives you 500,000? What's 500,000 divided by 50? Now, 500,000 divided by 500 is 1,000. But 500,000 divided by just 50 would be 10,000, right? Okay. And you can just put a zero there. I mean, excuse me, a one there to show what you're doing. Okay. Now we've got it. We know what the answer to this is here, right? The answer, the square root of 10,000 is 100, right? Okay, so we can keep going. That'll be 100 times the square root of 50. But wait a minute. Look at that 50. Can we break up 50? Of course, right? I mean, we can break up 50. That's going to be still 100 on the outside. And then on the inside, we're going to have 25 times 2. And of course, we know the answer to that, right? That comes out here and becomes a 5. Of course, we're multiplying there. So 100 times 5, of course, is 500. And then the square root of 2. And there we go. Your only job is to take this grotesquely large number and figure out you're going to break off as much as you can where you have an even number of zeros. Then find that square root out of there. Then piddle around with the rest of it and see what you need to do. All right? Let's try another one here. The square root of 40 million. Oh, dear. Okay. All right, so write that down if you need to. Okay, well, this is a nice one here because you see there's seven zeros, so you go, ugh, I'm ignoring this one then. I'm going to focus on the six zeros, okay? Okay, and let's just uh, break this up into two pieces then, okay? We have 40, that's what's left, and we have times. It won't be just obviously, oh, zero, 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 zero. You need a one there, right? It's going to be 40 times a million. There's your million. There's your 40, okay? Well, we can count the zeros. There's six of them, so we know the square root of that is going to have half that many, or three zeros. So that comes to the outside, right? So that'll be a 1,000, and then what's left is the 40, okay? Don't forget your 40. You do have to pay over the 40, all right? We're going to have to break up 40 into pieces. Now, you probably recognize that, you know, 40 is just 4 times 10, right? That's... And we need this one because you know, 8 times 5 wouldn't work because 8 is not exactly a perfect square, neither is 5. So pick one that works, uh, like 4. Well, the square root of 4 comes on out, and then you multiply that by 2. This is gone now. So we have 1,000 times 2, or 2,000, and then the square root of 10, okay? And again, let's say you went, oh, I can't remember 40. Well, fine, just do, you know, whatever you want. 4 times 10, 20 times 2, you know, whatever. Oh, there's a prime. There's a 4 times 2, oop, I got that, and then oop, there's a 2 times a 2, okay? Well, I got a pair of 2s, that comes out as, you know, times 2, and then that's done. And then I have 2 times 5, is, well, 2 times 5 is 10, and there it is, just like we had it right there. Either way is fine. All right, we'll try one more. The square root of 700 million. The square root of 700 million, all right? Pause if you need to. Okay, well, again, look, count the zeros, right? We got 2, we got 4, we got eight, 6, and we got 8. Okay, well, all we need to do then, and you can eventually stop doing this all the steps, you can just do it mentally. But let's just write the step out right now. This is going to be 7 times 100 million as the breakup here. All right, so we have 8 zeros this time, which means our outside is going to have 4 zeros. So 1, 2, three, four. And we've actually taken care of everything here except the seven, and there's nothing else you can do. So you can call it right there. Okay. All righty. Let's try the practice set. Try A. Go ahead and pause it, and we'll come back together in just one second. Okay. A is the square root of 24 plus the square root of 48. All right. We're going to break up 24. And you probably recognize that you don't want to do 12 and uh, 2 or 8 and 3. You probably want to go, ah, wait a minute. This is going to be the square root of 6 times 4 because that's the part I like right there, the square. This one, same thing. Um, and you know what? Let's just do it for, 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 for uh, I guess, the sake of doing it differently. Let's try 48 like this as a uh, factor tree. Well, you probably know your times tables. I got a 6. I got an 8. Of course, my 6 goes to 3 and 2. The 8 goes to 2 and 4. And I got another 2 and 4 here. 
or two and two here, excuse me. All right, so I got two, 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 and three. All right, so that gives me two, 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 and three. Well, this is nice because look, I have two pairs of twos, right? That'll pull out nicely. Okay, we know the square root of four comes out here, and that's two. So we have a two there, and the only thing left we have is a six underneath the radical. Here we have this pair, a two, times this pair, another two. That'll be four outside, and then a three under the radical. And since these are not like terms, there's, there's nothing you can do. You they just, they just put them, leave them like that. Okay. All right, pause it and try B. Okay, B is this, two square root of 18 minus the square root of 27. All right, well, let's break this down. Two stays there. This will be nine and two. This will be nine and three, all right? Well, we know the square root of nine is three, so that comes out, and you multiply it by three. So that'll be six there, and then square root of two left. Done. This one, the square root of nine comes out, becomes a three. That's a three, square root of three. That is not a like term with this, and that is as far as you can go, so. That's it for B. Okay, pause it and try C. All right, the square root of, uh, excuse me, C is the square root of 50 million. All righty. And again, you just want to focus on the number of zeros you have that are an even number. So there they are. There's six of them. All right. So again, you can write it like this. I got it. That means a 50 times 10, uh, excuse me, that's 1 million. I should have written 1 million. 1 million. Okay, this comes out, and the answer to this, which has six zeros, the square root will be three zeros. So there'll be a thousand on the outside. Thousand times square root of 50. We don't want to leave 50 there because we, we can break that down a little bit. So we'll break down the 50 into the 25 times the 2. That's the easiest way. 25, the square root is 5, so we multiply by 5, so 5,000 and then square root of two, and that is it. We're done, so, okay. All right, see you guys next time. Have a good day.